Hi everybody, it's the last day of the year and welcome to Devotions. I want to play you just a little bit of two pieces of music which I think you should recognize. Here we go. That's the one. Next one. Well, if you didn't recognize it, the first one was the last post, <laughs> and the second one was Ravelli. And last post is played at the end of the day, and Ravelli is played early in the morning to wake people up. We've come to the end of another year, and in a way, I suppose, it's the last post. And from tomorrow, we will have the Ravelli, the beginning of a new year. Endings and beginnings. You know, Jesus knew about those too because he left heaven behind and he came to earth. That was a big change. Jesus left his home in Nazareth with his family and went down to be baptized at the Jordan River. And that was a new beginning for him. Jesus, in the end, let go of his life. And then on the third day, he rose again from the dead. And then he had to leave his disciples, whom he loved, and then returned to heaven. There's always an ending, or there's often an ending and a new beginning in life. You'll know that passage from Ecclesiastes chapter 3. There is a time for everything and a season for every activity under heaven. Time to be born, time to die, a time to plant and a time to uproot, and so on. There are many endings in life. There's the end of a year, which we're experiencing now. There's, for Priscilla and me, it's the end of our time at uh, Hillcrest Methodist Church, which have been six great years for us. There's the ending of working life, when people retire and start a new kind of life. Sadly, sometimes it's the end of a relationship when things can't go forward anymore. Sometimes there's an end of our health and we've got to cope with weakness that we haven't known before. And then, of course, there's the end of life, the experience of death, and then the new beginning of what lies beyond. There are many endings in life. And Jesus said to his disciples just before he died, don't let your heart be troubled. Don't be afraid. Believe in God. Believe also in me. I'm going to prepare a place for you. So that when there are endings, Jesus is always preparing for what comes next and for what lies ahead. And we are called upon to let go, to hand over everything to him. And then to listen for his guidance. So as we come to the end of one season, as we experience perhaps even great sadness in coming to the end, of a season of our lives. He will prepare the way ahead for us and we can listen to his guidance and his direction. So the last post today and Rebelli tomorrow. God bless you and many, many happy times in 2024.